Hi, my name is Victoria Altman. Welcome to the course. In this course, we're going to discuss the process of building cloud pages. Now, there are many vendors out there that can help you build cloud pages, and all of them are great. The difference between us and them is that after you purchase this course, you really don't have to do with any additional purchasing other than a couple of dollars on cloud pages. You don't have to pay a monthly fee. You get to keep all the tech and most of the tools we use are actually available free of charge. We provide you with step-by-step -step setup for every single available cloud provider. We provide you with the free software we're using and we tell you how to uh, create the pages for the most power. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a sample page. Now, this is a very simple page. You can get much more complex, but I actually work in a pretty, pretty competitive market. I work with attorneys, including personal injury attorneys in cities such as New York, LA, Houston, etc. I have found that this very simple cloud page does wonders for my clients. Of course, with proper on page, that's, that's a must. Just cloud links alone, they're not going to do anything without on page. Uh, so let's dissect this cloud page and see what we're building. We're going to start here at the top. I'm just using my primary keyword and we're just linking back to this page from here. By the way, you're going to get this template in the course file. Next thing is we have the H1, which is I'm using brand here. You can use a variation if you want, but brand has worked well for me. Uh, next, we embed a image from the Google My Business listing. Uh, to get this, we'll just go to, uh, let's go to, and we're going to open this up and open an image in your tab. And that's going to give me an exact URL. We just embed the URL. By the way, while this page is themed for personal injury attorney, I'm using my own properties here because I didn't want to use a client's name, but you can imagine what it should look like if you're using a client's name here. Okay, then we have text. Now, I like to keep this simple unless I want to get really complicated in a very, you know, in a very competitive area. So the easiest way to do this is by generating a, an article using something like Article Forge. Uh, if you don't have Article Forge or another similar software, we provide you with a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to generate something similar, actually better than this, uh, using ChatGPT. But if you're having trouble moving the cloud site with just a simple text, I also provide you with a step-by-step -step instructions of how to create a much more complex text that features different entities from Wikipedia using ChatGPT. Now that text is longer, it is much more full of entities. And in my opinion, it moves the cloud page or it helps that it helps to move the target money page much faster and much stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason why is simple, you're just adding way more entities in context onto the cloud page, you know, that's going to move. Uh, the, the only link we have on this page to an outside that's not a, an embed is one link from primary keyword to our money site. That's it, just one link. Uh, if you really want to be very conservative, you can always use the brand to link, but I found, I've tested both and I found that actually linking using a keyword makes much more difference. The next thing we have here is an embed, another embed of the GMB image. So this is a different image, so we have two. And next we have uh, the website. I'm very careful when deciding if I should be using my primary website, my money site as a cloud embed. Um, and the reason why is because if I'm going to send GSA links or another kind of spammy link service to my cloud page, then I probably want to use the GBP, you know, internal page uh, on Google site or another, you know, page altogether. Uh, one of the other properties, you could even use a powerful citation in here. But just be careful, plan out your linking strategy, your tier two linking strategy. Having said that, for many cases, if you're not in a hyper competitive area like me, I wouldn't even bother doing T2. But if you're in a more competitive area, or if you notice your page is not moving, then you might need to add additional links 
to the cloud pages. The good news is the cloud pages can take it. You can say, you know, you can send GSA links here and they will do fine. Okay. Next we have additional text. Again, there is no links here. We're just using this to add more entities. Uh, we have a YouTube video and embedded the YouTube video that, you know, is from the client site. More, more text here. Again, adding more entities. Uh, name of the brand one more time, embedded the GMAP, and name, address, phone number. Uh, useful links are my uh, social media, the business that site, as well as any other kind of links I want to connect. And you will notice that these are all do not follow because I don't want to give away that power. I only want to send it in one direction to my primary page that I'm trying to rank. And this is a little bit of secret sauce. Uh, we create a Google News feed based on the geo area where our client is located. So in this case, it would be Brooklyn and New York. So you go to news.google.com. And in this case, I'm going to put in Brooklyn or New York. And that's going to create a feed for me. Uh, this is my URL. I'm going to just go to rss.app, add this in, and it's going to create this very attractive, uh, constantly refreshing uh, feed of the local Google News. And this is a couple of things. First, it helps my site gain relevance so that Google understands that this is a site that is relevant for Brooklyn and New York. Of course, it also helps keep our site constantly updated because this is constantly refreshed. Uh, so this really adds a lot of power and authority to your site without any work whatsoever. It takes 30 seconds for a V8 to do this. And I really like using this. If you really want to go crazy, you can also add uh, a Google News feed for your client specific uh, I don't know, service or business type of business. Uh, but I found some of those aren't some of the articles that come up aren't very relevant and I've actually never needed to do it before. So I really like adding the geo area. I think it works really well. 